Now, several years ago, PXG introduced a formula into the iron marketplace that has arguably become the biggest growing genre within the marketplace. Pretty much every manufacturer has now got a hollow body design filled with a polymer that effectively is designed to enhance performance. It is without doubt one of the major advancements in golf technology within the last 20 years. So the question is, if it works in irons, then why wouldn't it work in any other golf clubs? Well, PXG have done it again and they've introduced that same polymer concept, but this time it's in their new lineup of putters. It's battle ready too. I've got Connor waiting on the putting green, ready to go through a custom fit process, but we're also going to see just what kind of difference, what kind of impact is this polymer having on the inside of putters? And is this yet another move from PXG to revolutionize golf technology? Good roll. You can see it rolling end over end as well. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a lot better than It's a marked improvement. Yeah. So this is our new range just come out, similar to Bat Ready 1. However, we've stolen from our irons in that these are hollow. Yeah. So these okay. hollow center S-Core 2, much higher MOI. So this is a polymer, a polymer much like the irons? Yeah, a few new designs as well. So we've got one that's, it's not reached us yet, Apache. Yes, is that the um, bigger one I've seen? Yeah, so we've got seven heads here. We've also got a center shafted, which isn't with us yet. Okay. Which will be much like this. Is that the dagger, is it? Uh, the dagger, yeah. yeah. But yeah, in terms of change, face is slightly different. It's a much thinner face. Hollow body, which allows us to move way further back. Basically increases MOI by 10%. Yeah, I think visually I like the, I prefer the look, do you? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot, um, it's more traditional, I suppose, isn't it? I like it. So in terms of your putting, what kind of putter do you currently use? Always traditionally been a uh, mallet putter. My assumption is that it's sort of a straight back and through stroke. Um, okay. Maybe it's not that, but that's what I think it is. Okay. And I've always used a mallet style putter. Having said that, in recent weeks, I've been using a more stable blade-like putter okay. um, that isn't got a load of toe hanging and a bit of face balancing to a okay. degree and, I, and I've, I've been enjoying that so I'm not opposed to trying anything. If I was to pick a putter that's on the table I'd go definitely go for one of those two um, and from the blades that are on the table I'd want to be maybe visually at least anyway looking at something like that. Go for the Mustang? Yeah. Okay shall we set you up in one of each? Yeah yeah let's do that see how it goes. Yeah. Right, Connor, that's the last one, I think. What is your, so, I mean, I said I wanted to try a blade. Yeah. In all honesty, I'm still on the fence with that personally. What, what sure. are your thoughts watching back? I think based on what we've seen, mm -hmm. you touched earlier that you think that you've kind of a straight back, straight through stroke. I thought it did, yeah, is that right? Yeah, so based on that, um, and based on what I've seen, mm -hmm. the bit of toe hang in this, I don't think it seems to. Against. I think we'd benefit more from <clears throat> I mean, I felt like it was a little bit open. Yeah. Or, and again, that sort of needing to close the face, yeah, but I wasn't doing it. You feel like you've got to work a bit harder yeah, yeah. for it? Not me. Not with the stroke. I don't <laughs> want to be working hard. <laughs> no, no. Let's go back to the mallet. Yeah, let's go back to the mallet. In terms of the shaft, the, yeah, the, insert, the neck, plumbers is what you use. That's what I've previously. traditionally used. So can we start there? Just okay. a mallet with a plumber's yeah. neck in. We'll give it a go on See then. if I feel more comfortable with that. that. Okay? Yeah. Now, whilst Connor sets me up another putter to try, I just want to make a comment regarding that polymer insert. How does it feel? Well, it feels very different and something that uh, I can only liken to when I first tried hollow bodied irons. It was nothing like what I expected. It's something that is very, very different. And if it's better, well, that's hard to say and certainly something you'd need to try for yourself. Bit firm, that one. I think again, f first thing for me, um, I think you were correcting, like, let's go into the yeah. mallet. 
I like the heavier weight is the other big thing. Mm. I feel like with the blade, I've, I've always done this where I feel like the blade is sort of flailing around a little bit. A bit more movement, less yeah. stability. Yeah, so for me, like you said in the previous clip, it's a case of just trying to keep it as square and as stable as possible. Yeah. Um, so yeah, notice that straight away, but is there anywhere else we go or are you happy with that? So one more thing where I think we can improve your stroke. Yeah. Get you a bit more consistency is going into a double bend shaft. Okay. That will make it a face balanced putter. Yeah. It'll keep the face square to the target. Yeah. Okay. You won't feel like you've got to work as much. Okay, fine. And the only other thing you mentioned earlier about this, um, PXC do the, do the shaft, yeah. Yeah, M16 shaft. So carbon shaft, a bit more stability. Mm. More so on long pots, you'll notice. Okay. And it's that available Distance in the double control. bend as well? And yeah, we have it in double bend, so okay. we'll try that now. Let's switch that up then. Okay. Thank you. I think there's, again, the misconception with any kind of custom fit or whether it be a putter or a set of irons. Yeah. There's not a magic wand and like, there's not a no. cute, but, but I think with putting, like the thing for me is if you can set the ball out on the roll, uh, on the, the line that you aimed at. It's going to help a lot, isn't it? The rest is yeah. down to your either yeah. misread or the pace or whatever <laughs> yeah. else. But a lot of the time, just being able to set it out on the, on the line you intend. Good roll. You can see you're rolling end over end as well. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a lot better than It's a marked improvement. Yeah. Can we finish on a high? Not quite, mate, but I'll be honest with you. I mean, there was a noticeable difference from the get go with this thing. I don't know whether the shaft thing is uh, all in the mind, but mm. if I don't know whether to call it more stable, it felt the whole thing felt just a little bit softer again for me. But the big yeah. deal really was that even when we moved from the blade, into the first mallet, plenty more stability. I don't know whether I've tried this. What's your S-Bend? Double bend. Double, double bend. Double bend. I keep putter. calling it S-Bend. Double bend. I don't know whether I've tried it in a putter before. It puts the face a little bit, obviously a little bit further forward from that. Yeah, it does. Plumber's neck. Does that make it, again, that's obviously becomes face balance. Just face balance, yeah. So you need double bends and a mallet yeah. head to make it face balance. Okay. It's half and half. Yeah. Plumber's is in between, between toe yeah, yeah. and face balance. With the face balance, it just makes it easier for you guys. Absolutely, I noticed that straight away. Yeah, squareness. So, yeah, I mean the pots started dropping straight away. Yeah, we did, they? and and more like I think um, I, I think I said it off camera. Not sure we recorded at the time, but I think putting is all about confidence and being able to set yeah. the ball off on the line. Yeah. And what was really interesting was the way this kind of club head and shaft now presents itself with the ball. I felt really confident Confidence I was pointing in the right up. direction. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Before you start worrying about how hard you hit it or anything else. Yeah. So from a confidence perspective, really important. And I, I think in, in, in many ways, the, the video was set up to talk about kind of what's inside these putters. And um, I'll talk about the sort of sound and feel in a separate clip. Um, and it is a different story altogether, yet again from PXG. Love the fact that they've uh, put something different into their technology yet again and maybe move the whole sort of story forward again. It'd be interesting to see where that kind of continues to go. But the other side of this story was the fact that putter fitting is probably just as, if not maybe more arguably than uh, important, that is, than getting driver fit, iron fit. But we all tend to probably ignore this bit. We do. It's so important. Yeah. It's the, the club we use most everywhere in the yeah, golf, absolutely. so why yeah. not? Yeah, and, and for me, again, as a typical example, um, when Connor first asked me the question, what do you use? Well, I use a mallet with a plumber's neck, and uh, just by going through this fairly short process, 40, 45 minutes in, and uh, I'm on a different sort of shaft, and it made a considerable difference to, to, the, to the way I felt at the address position, and, you know, another massive positive from custom fit so the story is get yourself and try these new putters if you're in the market right now for them i'm sure it'll be very interesting the pxg lineup as you've already seen plenty of shapes and sizes and necks and all the rest of it to try out for yourself but maybe more importantly just that message like i said of custom fit don't just buy off the shelf if you can where possible get this process done and i'm pretty sure you'll end up with a positive result anyway Connor, thanks for your time. Pleasure. I enjoyed that, bud. I just hope everyone could understand Connor's accent, uh, Irish accent, as well as they can understand my scouse. <laughs> right, see you all soon. Thanks for watching.